Good day and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're having a great day. Today the game I'm going to be playing is Port Royal 4. I haven't played this before, so it'll be a new experience for me. I haven't played any of the Port Royal games, actually. I think it's a turn-based game, but I haven't uh, tried it, so we're going to experience it together. Uh, the code was supplied to me by the developer, so uh, I'm not being paid, but I did get the code for free. So, uh, let's start here by testing, make sure I can type. Uh, so please like, please share, and please follow. Hey, Josu, what's up with you? Um, have a wonderful night. Well, thank you very much. Exclamation notify to be alerted when I go live. So if you're wondering why I typed that, it's because it gives you a, like what's called a hard notify. It lets you know when you do that. Um, so let's check it out. Make sure it works here. How do I sound, you know? be musical and epic right now. So let's check it out. Make sure it works here. Does the sound okay? Move that over there. Who am I? Do 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 do. I don't have a real load here, and I guess we've got to do tutorials. Ten minutes. All right. Gotta try the tutorial, man. Oh, it's music is jumpy. Ahoy, land lover! Ahoy! Are you volunteering to come aboard? Usually we have to fill them with rum, drag them aboard, and ship them off before they sober up again. All right. My name's Sam. I'm a captain here, and like there may Sam. be some things I could teach you. Okay, thank you for liking the stream. Uh... Next. Jesse, thank you for liking the stream. The most important okay, thing select is button is the next button. To. Climb into the lookout. Take the telescope and look around. All right. Hey, you can move around. I guess civilization uh, just is just adding a new pirates mode kind of deal. Get right in. There's Port Royal. Royal with cheese. You know, according to that, uh... You can also look around in all directions. Don't worry. There are no... To know exactly where you are, of course, you need a good naval chart. Here in the area, there are 60 towns. Spanish, English, French, and these money bags from the Netherlands. Oh. And of course, pirates from all over the world. This is a pretty big map, eh? Oh, there's North America. Florida, right? I'm sure you'll oh. recognize one or the other convoy. For example, these could be merchants or military convoys. The only way to find out exactly is to get close enough with one of your own convoys, which is not always a good idea. Check okay. out Port Royal, your hometown during this exercise. 
This is the town on the island in the middle of the Caribbean. Your convoy is in the port of the town. Select it. I think that's it. We'll spin. That was an arrow now. Town Hall. Okay, construct. How many Captain Viceroy? I wonder how you select it. Not start. No vessels, no trade. It's as simple as that. Such a convoy consists of up to 10 ships. But for you, one is fine for now. Until yes, you the left trigger was stuck. A real good captain, you'll have I to said show that you can handle it. yourself. The boat's really in a windy spot, I guess, eh? Follow convoy. Take a look at the different parts of the convoy. We got Commodore vessels. Throat. We're not sailing around here for fun. It's about trade between the towns and commodities and gold. All right. Select the town Port Royal to open up the town dialogue. But select the whole town, not a single building. So don't zoom in too far. Oh, there we go. A town is nothing without its inhabitants. These consist of workers and their families. The workers toil in the businesses and on farms and produce the commodities. The fine gentlemen like to come up with an attitude, but it is very important that the inhabitants are satisfied because otherwise they simply run away. What do they run to? Commodities plays the biggest part they become of pirates? Now select the production tab. Sure, every town also produces its own commodities, up to seven different ones. But people want more. And that's where trade comes into play. And your convoy. It brings the people what they cannot produce themselves. Alrighty. Now select the trade between town and convoy tab. Everything that people want can be found on the market, or maybe not, and then they get dissatisfied. Each item also displays production, consumption, and the current price. Okay. The Buy low, the sell high, I guess. Covered for the next weeks. the lower the price. That makes sense, doesn't it? So commodities produced in a town are usually quite cheap. They gotta find the right towns, I guess. Now select grain and buy 20 barrels. While the grain is being loaded into your convoy, let's see where the shortage is. There you can then sell the commodities with profit 
and make people happy at the same time. Now close the town dialogue. If you zoom out of the map far enough, you will see more towns northeast of Port Royal. Move the cursor over these towns to see the commodities they produce. Tortuga looks good. Send your convoys there. Tortuga? Oh, it's over here. I remember Tortuga being in Sid Meier's Pirates. Make sure the whole town lights up when you send a convoy there. After all, he's supposed to dock in the harbor and not drift around outside the town. I'm selected on the whole thing. Oh, trigger takes me back to my boat. Insufficient living space. Now we'll wait until your convoy arrives in Tortuga. If you want to make a rapid progress, just zoom out. The further you zoom out, the faster time will pass. Oh, I'm actually approaching it. What oh, is going there? See the little boat on the bottom left there, right underneath the Canadian flag there. Now it's going under my camera. There's a English ships going the other way. Zoom in a little closer so we can see better. The French boat there. They're, feet there at war with England. No, oh, they're okay with each other, I guess. Ah. <sighs> Arrived in Tortuga. We made no it. No evening without beer, rum, and brawls. And no trading without permission. So open the town dialogue and get a trading license first. Now open the trade tab again and sell all of your grain to the town. Where's our trading license? Wait. Great! You still have to get used to all the commodities and prices, but through trade you can earn the most money. For this, I offer a special course about the Caribbean economy. And there is also a lesson about creating automatic trade routes. These guys make the wood. The wood's cheap. By the way, in Port Royal, they need wood. Oh, good. I was just talking about wood. And return to Port Royal. There is work to be done at the shipyard. Got the wood. And do I gotta do more? Oh, he said 50 units. I thought he said 15. I wonder if I have to get 45 now. No, oh, that's just 45. Okay.
Until the convoy reaches Port Royal, a tip from me. Convoys cost money, maintenance, and repairs. Avoid empty trips and load your vessels as much as possible. Like, uh, transport tycoon, eh? Port Royale, the smell of seaweed, old fish, and hope for prosperity. Zoom in on the town until you see the shipyard and select it. All right. Convoys that are on the road a lot, the shells have to be scraped off regularly. And that's what the shipyard is for. But you can also get a new barge here if you need more cargo space. Buy a new vessel and get out of here for now. Guess we gotta buy a sloop. Your vessel and cops is still you were in the, the stream. And you can't even see it. You have to add it to a convoy first or convert it into a new one. They made cops express. We do that at the lighthouse. Select it. There was the lighthouse. Oh, here we go. On the left, you can see the selected convoy and your unused vessels on the right. Have you played this game before? By selecting a vessel, it switches sides. You can do that this. You can enlarge, vessel run in reduce, less than 30 parsecs? Convoys. If no convoy is selected, you can create a new convoy with free vessels. Like the vessel to move from one side. Nuclear vessel. You did a castle in fifteen parsecs. Eh? You, you took your record and broke it in half now add your new vessel to the existing convoy I'm doing that tutorial GF get grab GF Jake along the way sooner he's in the future eh? not bad for a landlubber the basics are in place one more whenever you come across Oops, I one missed of these whatever info is there. icons you can use it to open the appropriate pages in the manual for Caribbean merchants. Try it. I can't read what that says, you know. The info icon oh, there we go. Left stick bring down. you to the right place in the manual. You can also open the manual at any time and just browse through it. See yeah, that? You can get a manual without having a manual. I remember back in the day when I spelled the instructions. All right, you've got the basics down, I hope. But there's a lot of people out there just waiting to make a rookie like you walk the plank. So I'm recommending my other classes as well. Don't worry. I just want to make his money off Khan Academy here. Achievement! I wonder how many achievements there are for doing tutorials. And clean up in the achievements. So now I know how to bring a boat from one harbor to another. Raid. What they need. I learn how to fight. All rested up and ready for the Caribbean economy. Let's go. 
Oh, I don't First, need a choice. Select your convoy in the harbor of Port Royal. Is that clear? Check the hold of your convoy to see what you just loaded. We'll need it later. A lot of beer. beer we got beer. Does not make you as drunk as rum and not as sick as spoiled water. Now open the town dialogue of Port Royal. To do so, select the whole town from a greater distance, or if the camera is close by, the town hall or undeveloped areas. Here you can see the inhabitants who live here and have to be taken care of. About one quarter of them are workers. Some of what they produce can be traded with other towns. Well, all right. Apparently not possible. All I gotta do next. Below, you can see which cultivation and mining commodities can be produced in the town and how efficient such a production would be. Okay. Handicrafts such as clothing can be produced equally well in all towns. Clothing is out. People always ask for all commodities, and the variety of commodities affects the satisfaction. In small settlements, however, simple commodities are more important. If the town grows, the inhabitants become more demanding, and the upscale commodities becomes more important. Now switch to the production tab to see the production of the town. Each town can produce a maximum of seven different commodities. Here you can see what is produced in Port Royal per day. Is there this is much more than the inhabitants themselves need. The surplus can then be traded with other towns. Your businesses will be here later. Now switch to the trade between town and convoy tab to see the commodities on the town's market. Here you can see all commodities that are available, sorted by their importance for the inhabitants. The first column okay. shows the fill level of a commodity. This is the ratio of supply to demand. From two green bars on, a commodity is no longer scarce. From four bars on, it is in abundance. They mean uh, four green bars. Here you can see how many commodities are in stock at the market of the town and in the selected convoy. The convoy must of course be anchored in the harbor of the same town. By buying and selling, you move commodities between the town and the convoy. Okay. Here you can see what the town produces and consumes. This includes commodities that serve as raw material for other products. Compare stock oh, and fill level. So you build like the longer the stock wood lasts, or something. the more secure and satisfied the citizens feel. The price of a commodity changes constantly because it depends on supply and demand. The higher the fill level, the lower the price. For the beginning, you should remember buy from two green bars, sell until two green bars. What? That makes sense. The last column shows the average price you pay oh, for a commodity. Oh, because they have they have green course, bars. You should always sell a commodity at a higher price. Take a look at the price of beer. The average price of your loaded commodities is lower than the current price in the town. Where's the beer? People want beer, and you can give it to them. To want do this, beer. select the commodity and slowly beer, move beer, the beer, amount from beer, right beer. to left. You can see how the stock and the fill level of the town increases, and the price per unit decreases. Now sell your beer supply to the town and close the town dialogue.
beer? The beer right here, maybe? Oh, here's the beer. We got green bars happening. From all the beer. We just had to go to two bars, though. That was wrong. Open what? the trade dialogue again. To do this, select either the whole town from a greater distance or, if the camera is close by, the town hall or undeveloped areas. Then select the trade between town and convoy tab. People want beer, and you can give it to them. To do this, but select they, the they commodity and slowly two move two. the amount from right to left. You can see how the stock and the fill level of the town increases and the price per unit decreases. Now sell your beer supply to the town and close the town dialogue. Very nice. Now show what you have learned. I tell you. There's an abundance of grain in Port Royal right now. Buy at least 100 barrels. All right, I learned it, man. Go here. And this is the grain, I think. We need a hundred barrels. Please. Look at the buy price. But if you're learning right, they want that. But he's at a hundred, so. The commodities are on board. Now you need a destination. I recommend Port-au-Prince, east of Port Royal. Set up your convoy there. Open the town dialogue and get a trade license. Then you sell the grain to the town. Wait for our boat to get here. Sailing. Sailing. Sail. Come sail with me. Come sail with me. We're like a merchant city here, it seems. A little different than I thought it was going to be. It's kind of interesting. Kind of relaxing game, man. You like it relaxing. Like right up Cops' alley. Oops. Open the mic. Was there some ASMR for you? My elbow sounds like. Good music, eh? Be cool if all it was is just go back and forth to towns, but I have a feeling they're gonna intensify things with pirates a bit. Alright, so we're at the town. Gotta to do that. I gotta go over here. Oh my grain. There, be a good deal here. Excellent. That was my Caribbean economy crash course. It's really very simple. Got lots of banana Buy cheap and sell dear. And don't waste all the profits on drinks. You should now understand what the price of commodities depends on. In the beginning, you do the trading yourself. Later, you set up trade routes and leave the trading to your convoys. Of course, always to your specifications. Right. 
Give me an achievement. Crap, eh? No achievement. I always wanted to try Port Royal. It took me a long time to get around you want to, to sail comfortably it. Port over Royal the sea was and enjoy first the one. wind and waves? Then you're in the wrong place. I want to teach you how to organize your convoys so that they yield more profit for you. And we'll start right away. Choose right, your convoy dude. that anchors at Port Royal. Here you can see if the convoy has additional sailors. You can hire these via the trade dialogue if there are workers available in a town. Sailors are only needed by your combat vessels during naval battles. The total number of cannons of the convoy is displayed here. A convoy can only fight in naval battles if it has combat vessels, because only these vessels have cannons. If there is a battle, the sailors of the convoy will be distributed among the combat vessels. They're gonna tag me or what? You already know the different areas of a convoy. Select the area of vessels. Here, you can see the vessels of your convoy. It's important that you understand the difference between a vessel and a convoy even if the convoy consists of only one vessel. Okay. Suppose you buy a vessel in the shipyard. Then it will stay there until it belongs to a convoy. Only then it gets a crew and is put into the harbor. From that moment on, you can fill the vessel with commodities and put it to sea. Free vessels are something like dead capital. They are not operational but they don't generate any costs. Two buildings in the town are important when it comes to vessels. The shipyard and the lighthouse. Let's first have a look at the shipyard in Port Royal. Select it to enter it. You have to zoom in close enough to the town, otherwise you won't be able to select individual buildings. In the shipyard, you can repair, buy, and sell vessels. As you can see, the vessel in your convoy could use a little overhaul. Get it done. Great. While the repairs are being carried out, we look at the vessels the shipyard is currently offering for sale. To do so, select the next area in the shipyard. Larger okay. shipyards sometimes offer used vessels for sale. These can come from bankrupt merchants, for example. This is a good opportunity for you to get a new vessel quickly and easily. Just buy the two vessels on offer. Okay, we're gonna get a bark. Another bark. This military frigate Barks needs have command bite. points. This applies to all vessels with cannons. They can only be included in convoys that have a captain. And people trained in this field do not grow on trees. Oh. For the really big vessels, you have to prove that you are loyal to your nation and accumulate fame, here represented by fame points. Your fame increases when you do things that our dear Viceroy particularly likes. More on this later, in another lesson. Damn, now look there's at lots the of lessons in this, eh? You can sell vessels which you don't need anymore, and order the construction of vessels. However, this always takes a while, and there must be enough building material available at the town's market before the shipyard can start the construction. To build new convoys or add new vessels to a convoy now, you need the lighthouse. Now close the shipyard and open the lighthouse of Port Royal. On the left side, your selected convoy did is displayed. this in that basic part. On the right side, you can see your free vessels, which are docked in the harbor. Just select a vessel to move it between the port and the convoy. If you have not selected a convoy that is anchored in the harbor, a new convoy will be displayed on the left side, which you can create with your vessels. 
Now close the lighthouse again. I haven't added them yet. We have just talked about captains. Choose the captain's tab in your convoy. A convoy is ready to go even without a captain, but a captain improves many characteristics and allows to carry armed vessels. Unfortunately, such captains are hard to find, and for each, you need a captain's license. You can get a captain's license from your viceroy, but more about this in a later lesson. If a captain applies to you, this will be displayed here. Now open the captain's dialogue. Here, you can see which captains are working for you, or who is applying as a captain. Every captain right. has Richard Adams. skills that will improve with time. Take a look at everything, and then hire the captain. A captain doesn't work for free, so don't forget to assign him to a convoy after you hire him. Otherwise, you'll pay for doing nothing. Now assign the captain to your convoy. Very good. With the help of their command points, captains can lead armed vessels. The higher the level of a captain, the more command points he can use. And that concludes this lesson about vessels and convoys. See you soon. Uh, awesome, buddy. This Thank Port Royal this is to be like traders. above trading, and it there's lots of looks like there's a lot to 10 it. Ten ways to screw up others' businesses. I'll teach you how to massively increase your trade volume. Now, select your convoy, which is anchored off Cartagena, and select the trade route tab. Trade route tab, eh? Oh, here we go. As long as you only have a convoy, you can, of course, act on your own, buying, transporting, selling commodities. But with more convoys, it gets out of hand. You have to learn to give orders to your convoys so that they are sailing for you automatically. Okay. For that, you need the trade routes. Now, click on the trade routes button to open the dialogue and then select create new route. Candace Sammy, thank you for following. Good day to you. Here, you create new trade routes and assign them to your convoys. A new route does not yet contain any towns. Marcel, so thank you for liking the stream. First. This is the navigation map. Yeah, hello it shows to you. Wind direction and wind force everywhere. The wind With force. Tailwind, a convoy will naturally drive much faster. And time is money. Time is, in fact, money. The red areas are sometimes hit by storms. This increases the risk that your convoy will be damaged. This is called Port Royal 4. Uh, I got a code from the developer. And it's like back in the pirate days. So I'm learning how to play the game. That's what areas with a dull wind look like. Here, convoys move very slowly. Therefore, we such set up areas our convoys. are usually avoided. There's the English, the Spanish, the Netherlands. And then there's pirates. You gotta trade and fight and... I traded a bunch of beer. 
The colored areas near coasts indicate shallow waters and reefs. Convoys with greater draft have to be very careful here and therefore do not make rapid progress. Convoys consisting only of vessels with little draft have no problems here. Yeah, we gotta consider that, eh? Now look up to the left. There you will see the towns where you have acquired a trading license. You will also see what each town is producing at the moment. Set up a trade route with these four towns. Simply select the towns in this order. Cartagena, Portobello, Bluefields, Puerto Cabezas. All right, so I guess we gotta pick this one first. Cartagena. Portobello. That one. That I don't know, eh? That's, uh... Well, that's the first one I gotta pick. Oh yeah, the right side of the order is over there. Oh, here's one. Cartagena. Portobello. Oh, that's going up here. Up here. As you can see, all the towns will appear in the list, and even the exact course of the route will be shown. However, this route is not very convenient. The convoy would have to sail frequently against the wind and would make only slow progress. Why'd you tell me to pick that order, you didn't moron? The first thing you should do is to change the order of the towns, to change the position of a town in the list. You can select and move it. Oh. Doing it for educational purposes. There we go, that looks way better. Crossing route. Make a little tie. Alright, well where's our boat? Our boat's right there. Yo, I thank you for liking the stream. That was that for a pattern, eh? Alright, I think we want, really want, part of Geno at the top, though. Is 
can really go up here somewhere, eh? You see, the course of the route is already much more consistent with the wind directions. But you can optimize the route even more because it runs through an area with little wind. Select the route at the marked like the position yeah. and move it up to the other marker outside the calm. And see how this reduces the duration of the trip. Where is the duration? 20, 23, 6, 8, 6. Oh, okay, so 8.6 to 11.4 days. You can certainly improve the route in other places to take better account of the wind, avoid potential storms, or avoid shallow water and cliffs. Feel free to experiment, then select the town of Cartagena in the list to set the commands for that town. Wanna move it up here? X, of I course, guess. your people need to know what to buy, what to sell, and what to keep their hands off. So you give them guidelines, which they then follow. Don't worry, it sounds more complicated than it is. Sounds pretty complicated. The commodities produced in a town are often in abundance. That makes them cheap, and you can sell them in other towns at a profit. Search for cotton and give the order to buy. Your people will then buy cotton as long as it can be sold on the route, and the purchase price is low enough. All right, dude. Like town. What we want to buy. No, we don't. That's not cotton. That's wood. That looks like hemp. Sugar, which one's cotton, man? Maybe I don't know how the heck you tell which one's which here. No, like words. Beer, 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 beer. Anna, that's grain. Oh, which one cotton is, dudes? Figured out. Port Royal for cotton. We are just missing where it is. It looks like a cauliflower head. 
circle. It's this one. the order to buy okay that makes them cheap and you will sell them in other towns at a profit right Automatic is fine. But your people are not stupid. If there are no sell orders for a commodity, if there is no demand, or if the purchase price is too high, oh, I think I had to push the bumper. Oh, Arm Armand, thank you for following. Good day to you. I've never played this game before in my life, so. Do you have any tips? Let me know. Oh, you know why I couldn't find the darn cotton? There it is right there. Flecked down. Okay, so buy automatic. If you actually have to deliver a commodity somewhere, even though it is very scarce and expensive, you can deactivate this automatic pricing and give your people a maximum purchase price. But for the beginning, you shouldn't even think about such things. Okay. Find two more commodities in Cartagena that you want to buy and switch to the town Puerto Cabezas. John, thank you for liking the stream. Ready. How do you know what they ha what they want here? I guess they got a little, lot of everything, so... We will buy hemp. Let's on sale. And we'll buy beer. And switch the town. Puerto Cabezas can certainly use the commodities you want your people to buy in Cartagena. So set these Good. commodities to sell. By the way, if you select a commodity, the list of towns will show you where it is bought or sold. They need the hemp and the beer there, but it doesn't look like they need cotton.
There we go. They do need cotton too, I guess. Of course, you can also set further preferences for priority, quantity, and price when selling, but it is not important at first. If you want to know what this is for at a later time, just have a look at my tips and tricks. Well, all right, dude. So, an easy route is now available. If you want, you can, of course, make further settings for the other towns. Feel free to have a look around. Dude, what do they have a lot of? These guys are buying these wine glasses. Nuts. Circle and the red carrots. Oh. The red bags. Could sell that. All the wine glasses and what was the other thing? Red bags. Okay, we're good there. And we'll see what these guys want. These guys want hemp, bananas. When you are ready, close the edit mode for the route again. Gotta fix this route still. Add this one into the root. You will now be shown all kinds of information about the root, but since the root is new, most of the values are zero, and as long as no convoy uses this root, nothing will change. You should therefore assign it to your selected convoy. And now you only have to give your convoy the command to follow the root. Very good. If you now close the route dialog, you can see how your convoy sets sail and executes your commands. Right, I guess that's what In the port of do. Cartagena, there are now two more convoys ready for you. Up here, you can see how many of your convoys are not on a trade route right now. You can select such a convoy either directly in the world or by switching through. Please switch to a free convoy now. You know it's a free convoy. Victory. Now send this convoy to the route you just created. Open the route mode again. And now select again the option assign route and activate the route on the convoy. Great. You see, a route can have several convoys. This is especially useful if the route is very long or a lot of commodities have to be transported. Your current route is short and the quantity is still small, but that can change once the towns start growing. Well, awesome, dude. You can, of course, change, extend, and optimize a route at any time. The affected convoys will implement these changes immediately. Finally, one more thing. The trade route dialog shows you the data of your different routes. You can also view the balances of individual convoys. 
close the trade route dialogue now and take a look at convoys and towns. Among other things, all your convoys and vessels are displayed here. You can also view the balances of your convoys, which are currently on tour with a trade route. So you can quickly see if a convoy is currently making gains or losses. Aunt. This lesson is now also completed. You have now learned the most important things about trade routes. By the way, if you later have your own warehouses in towns, they can also be used and filled by trade routes. More about this in my course about production. All right. Welcome to the course about production and why producing by yourself is better than buying from others. And while you're at it, I can also hammer some more insights about the Caribbean economy home. You already know that you can earn a lot of money by buying commodities here cheaply and selling them expensive elsewhere. Now, it can happen that you could sell more commodities than are offered. For example, because the production is too weak or there are too many merchants underway, then it is worth considering getting into production yourself. Sure, during production there are costs for buildings, raw materials and workers. But if everything runs normally, you produce the commodities at a reasonable price and you can sell them for a profit wherever they are needed. With optimizations, you can reduce your unit costs even more and thus increase your profits. For this course, Cartagena is your hometown. Open the town dialogue. Here, you can see which commodities can be produced with which efficiency by cultivation or mining. Of course, you can produce handicrafts everywhere because they depend on raw materials and not on geographical specifics. Here, you can see which commodities are actually produced in the town. Each town can produce up blankets. to seven different products. Your businesses the third thing will also is. be displayed here First later. Cotton. These numbers tell you how many commodities in the town are produced per day and how much could be produced. If, for example, workers or raw materials are missing, this slows down the production. You should only produce the commodities that are scarce in the area. Because the production of commodities is really expensive, and if you create an oversupply, the prices go down and you make losses. That also okay. applies to other producers in the town. If they make losses with their commodities, they shut down production or even tear down their businesses. I'm only telling you this in case you ever have plans like that. Check which commodities are in demand here. Vegetables are such a commodity, and Cartagena does not produce vegetables at the moment, but could. Vegetables are also scarce in the neighboring towns. Vegetables and orange things, is that, that carrots? Trade. And since vegetables are high on the list, they have a big meaning for smaller towns. So, vegetable cultivation seems to be a good idea. Close this dialogue now and open the construction menu for this. Right at this. In the first Real. section of buildings you can construct are town buildings like residentials or chapels. But we'll get to that in the next lesson. Crap, man. There's lots of this game, eh? Right? 
You can find production businesses in the second section. The darkened businesses can't be built here. The conditions for that are missing. If you move the camera to the town of Necocli, south of Cartagena, you can see how the possible businesses change. Of course, you can't just build anything anywhere. First of all, you need a trade permit so that you can trade and your fame increases. Only then you can get a building permission for businesses. If you even want to construct town buildings, you have to get the town administration rights from the Viceroy. Now take a look at Cartagena to see the possible building sites for vegetable cultivation. Select a business and zoom in close to the town until building sites in different colors become visible. The plots are divided into two colors, rather negative and neutral. All right. And Cal, thank you for liking the stream. fields mean disadvantages. Move the focus to such a field. You can see that the operation would have a negative effect on the satisfaction of the residents in several residential areas. I almost feel like the right trigger should be a zoom, eh? There are no negative factors on the neutral fields. There, you should now build a vegetable farm. Good. The construction contract is given. Here you can see which construction materials are needed and how much these materials and the construction costs. 20 grand, holy crap. You don't have to worry about the construction workers, but they can only start working when the construction commodities are in stock in the town. You can help with this if necessary. Close the construction menu again and move the focus to the business you just commissioned. In the info area, you can see who owns the building and if there are any commodities missing for construction. If so, you can either get them and sell them to the town, or you can wait until another merchant did. Without workers, nothing works, of course. Otherwise, hey. you would have to harvest the carrots yourself. Open the town dialog by selecting an empty field or a town building. Here you can see how many job seekers there are in the town currently. They come with the treasure fleets from Europe to the town of the Viceroy, and from there they are distributed via trade convoys to the other towns. You can help with a trick here. When you dismiss the sailors, they automatically become job seekers. In order for job seekers to come to the town and stay until they find a job, the satisfaction in the town must be at least 40%.
This is usually not a problem, but as towns get bigger, the demands of their inhabitants grow. Oh, okay. But workers also need housing for themselves and their families. If there is not enough of it in the town, your business cannot hire new employees. If you really are the administrator of a town, as it is the case with your hometown, nobody else builds buildings but you. So you have to provide enough housing. On the contrary, if you are not the administrator, you have to wait until the town does it. If the town is doing well and there are enough building materials, it won't take long. Let's speed things up a bit. Your farm is now operational and has all the workers. Now, switch to the production tab and select vegetables. There we go. Here, you can see the vegetable production it was of a the carrot. town. Your businesses are also a part of it, and from tomorrow on, you can see which commodities your new business produces daily. As long as you don't have your own warehouse in the town, the produced vegetables will be sold to the town daily at the current price. As long as your business is running efficiently and the town is not drowning in an oversupply of vegetables, there is nothing wrong with that. Of course, you can prevent oversupply by selling I think the I would have preferred to if they... other towns yourself. For example, uh, by using easy and a bit rooms. easier than if the neighbors drown in vegetables, you can also stop your production completely for a while to prevent the price drop of the commodities. Vegetables are cultivated. Other commodities such as iron or coal are mined. And there are handicraft businesses where raw materials are converted, such as weaving mills. Here, cotton is spun and woven into cloth. Such a weaving mill is needed right now in Cartagena. Get to work! Okay. Need to make a weaving mill. Not how to do it. There's a tobacco plantation there. Oh, you can buy buy it from the owner. Cool. This one. Just in town, I guess. There's a way to know. I bought it too. This one, that's a waving meal as well. This residential offers space for up to 240 citizens.
to work. Fighter out here, peaceful when we're in space. Really sure to get what you're supposed to do here. Well, make gaming. Thank you for liking the stream. Is such a where are we mills needed right now? Get to work. I got two weaving mills right here. Fire Devil, thank you for liking the stream. Open town dialogue. Hey Christian, welcome. You're having a good day today. I don't really know how to play this game. I'm just doing the tutorial and dude tell me to do something and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to point exactly. I think I gotta find like an open spot, but maybe I gotta go to this one. Oh, here we go. There's an arrow there. That was silly, eh? That was pointing at. Green spots over here. I think I just built a tavern. Oops. Well, they needed a tavern anyway. There we go. Very good. Let's speed this up. <laughs> now leave the that was painful, I'm sure. And select the weaving the mill to see its production. Here you can see what raw materials you need for your cloth production. As long as you don't have a warehouse in the town where the commodities are in stock, the business automatically buys the required cotton from the town as needed and sells the produced cloth back to the town. Well, excellent. And the lesson on the basics of production is already over. Now you know why you should only produce commodities that are in demand. Also, you should always make sure that your businesses have enough raw materials because otherwise you will pay your workers to just sit around. It's just like the other game. I pay them to sit around all the time. They sleep on the floor. Vandal, thank you for following. Good day to you. Welcome. If you guys are wondering, this game is Port Royal 4. I'm just doing the tutorial. I've never 
played the game before in my life. You've already learned how to boost production. Yeah, interesting, in towns. a little bit. But in towns like Lots your of tutorial, but I think once you get into yourself, it, it's probably you also one of those have games control over the living conditions that uh, and can also you know, once you understand it, it's quite fun. Businesses. Open the construction but menu. Right now, I'm just kind of like overwhelmed with the amount of stuff you go learn. It's crazy. And I don't even pay attention to this guy enough, and then I gotta read it. Huh? The construction menu, right? Directly in the first category, you will find all buildings that do not produce commodities. They create living oh, space, over. increase the satisfaction of the inhabitants, or attract more workers to the town. Move the cursor over the buildings and see the information about them. Oh, okay. As you can see, many buildings have positive effects on other buildings or even the whole town. The most important building, besides the businesses, is of course the residential area. Select it because you should build one. Then they gave me some money back. A residential area can accommodate a lot of people. This is good, because most workers have families, children, partners, old people, etc. Only about every fourth inhabitant works at all. So we need four times as much living space as workers. Otherwise, no new people will come to the town. <laughs> hey, long day today, I tell you. Um, where am I? I supposed to go in Port Royal. Where's the residential area? Probably on this one. Gotta go on the green one. Oh. Residential area can accommodate a lot of people. This is good because workers have to have, you know, family and children and stuff. Old people. So we need four times as much if you look at the possible building sites for residential areas in Port Royal you will see different colors these indicate whether there are advantages or disadvantages to advance the building it. site yeah, look at that eh this coloring means that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages Move the cursor over one of these fields to see what the advantages are and where they come from. Here, the reasons are the tavern and the chapel. If they are nearby, the popularity of a residential area increases and it can grow much bigger. like the tavern and the chapel nearby, I guess. But nobody likes to live near cultivation or mining companies. There is too much hustle and bustle. Sometimes there is also noise and stench and dust. So the satisfaction of the residents decreases and such negative influences even add up. Find a good place for a residential area and commission it. The situation is different with handicraft businesses. Here, residential areas have a positive effect because the workers have a short way to work but also companies that supply the right raw material for the craft have a positive effect. Choose the brewery for once. The most productive building sites for a brewery are located near residential areas and grain farms because the workers then have a short distance to work and grain is needed for brewing. All right, dude, I can do that. Now build a brewery. Brewery, man, this 
Something's all about the beer. Okay, this one has two things. There's residential and there's second item. Very good. By the way, if a crafting business needs more than one resource, it will receive an additional bonus for each resource business nearby. Oh, there you go. And another building has a positive effect on production. The Select it. With the tool Randy, maker, thank you for liking the stream. Nice to see you. Operations ya. like the coal mine more efficient. I think you've understood the principle. Just always take a close look at the advantages and disadvantages of such a building site. That's what the this information is. This is Port Royal for. Four. Got a code from the developer, so I thought I'd give her a try. Kind of starting to understand it a little bit, but it is like a little bit overwhelming with all these tutorials. You know, like you gotta, you can, you do set up ship routes between towns to make money and grow your town by adding buildings and stuff. And as always, one last thing. For many handicraft businesses like the brewery and special town buildings like the tool maker, you need a concession. You can get this from your viceroy when you have enough. We Bill, will talk thank about you for following. Good day to you. Lesson. Welcome. Put the tool maker right there. I think it likes the tool maker there, eh? symbol they don't want to they don't want to live beside the mine there we go we're done that I go we can learn about the viceroy man who knew there was so much back in these days eh like red tape everywhere Welcome to the Department of Diplomacy at Sammy's School for Emerging Caribbean Merchants. Today's topic is Viceroys, the fast track to fame. Simply put, the Viceroy is your nation's top boss in the colonies. He watches you, I thought it was the Governor gives you General information, and shows his appreciation time. when you serve your nation. A whole YouTube video about that. You can always contact the Viceroy. Get in touch with him now. If it's on YouTube, it's true. I was just thinking about you. Here what, in the really? first tab, the Viceroy informs you about the current situation. <laughs> Especially important for you are the relations to the other nations, because you usually can't sail to the towns of hostile nations. Makes sense, I guess. But the Viceroy also has tasks for you. You don't have to fulfill them, but if you do, you will be rewarded with fame. Not unimportant, because without fame, you won't get concessions for handicraft businesses. No great vessels and no town administrations. Now, switch to the fame tab. As you can see, fame. your current fame in England is quite capable of forever. improvement. But this is normal, because you are still at the beginning of your career. If you have collected enough fame, you will receive a fame point. I used to really enjoy Sid Meier's Pirates. I used to play that sometimes. Used to be such a fun game. Oh, there's a little bit probably wouldn't hold up very well as far as uh, I'm sure it would feel dated. England regularly sends treasure fleets from Europe to the town of the Viceroy to collect colonial commodities. Here you can see how many commodities the fleet would like to take with them next time, and how many of them you have sold in Port Royal. This is a double deal for you. Good for your wallet and good for your reputation. If you have a fame point in stock and enough workers in a town, you can ask the Viceroy to manage a town. Then everything will be done your way. No house or business will be built without your permission. In the end, a town will be built according to your ideas. Okay. Now, open the next section. 
life would of course be much easier without our European neighbors. Here you can find out which lousy creatures are their viceroys and where they live. Thank God you only deal with your own viceroy. It is not your job to confront these sad figures with the finesse of English diplomacy. Right. Now on to the next section. Pirates. Oh, pirates. All Caribbean pirates the Viceroy learns about are listed here. It is for your own fame and freedom to hunt down these ungodly spawn. Should you ever manage to track a pirate convoy to its hideout, you can actually smoke it out and gain even more prestige. Now, proceed to the last section, the concession. For anti of course, not just any merchant can open a brewery on a whim. For handicraft businesses, combat vessels, and special town buildings, you need the approval of your viceroy. This also applies to any captain you want to hire. For each fame I guess point, this is like you can the get a XB. concession here. So I need a brewery first before the story. Leaving no leads to that. Bakery is pretty deep down, eh? You have to put deep in the it? XP for that. Then congratulations on the successful completion of this course. Look around a little more, and this lesson Man, will end. Man, it's like Academy here, eh? Naval battle, that sounds kind of more interesting. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm wearing my merch today. It's exciting, eh? I'm gonna show off my shirt. The acrid smell of gunpowder steam and the crashing of bursting tailgates. Where there are pirates and enemy military convoys. There's a link in the video battles. description. To make your first battle, anybody not wants to really look at that. this lesson. To get started, select your convoy. It's anchored south of Port Royal. There are three types of convoys you can attack. First of all, there's pirates. You can always pirates. attack them. Your viceroy will be happy and accordingly Yar. your fame will rise. If you want to act like a pirate, you have to raise the black flag on your convoy and disguise yourself as a pirate. In this mode, you can also attack friendly convoys, but this will damage your reputation with the Viceroy. Oh, you can go full pirate, man. Probably Roger hoisted. And thirdly, there are convoys of other nations when there is war with them. If you got yourself a letter of marquee beforehand, such attacks are legal because you can then act on behalf of the Viceroy. It's called politics. Here you can activate the convoy's patrol mode. In this mode, the convoy monitors its surroundings at sea and attacks all enemy convoys on its own. Activate the mode now. Soon the pirate Calico Jack will pass by here and your convoy will attack him. Then you can choose if you want to join the fight or if you want your convoy to fight on its own. Uh oh, here's the pirate. This side will alert you to an incipient naval battle. Select it in time to join the battle. If you wait too long, the battle will be fought automatically. Here you will be informed about the convoys that are going to fight against each other. On the left is always your convoy. On the right, the convoy of the opponent. It looks like he's got a lot more stars, if that's important. The most important factor is the approximate fighting strength of the convoys. Because oh, usually, the stronger convoy will win. Oh, they're stronger than me. Pirates often have no interest in destroying a convoy completely. They want commodities, and they cannot plunder a destroyed convoy or bankrupt merchants a second time. So if things turn bad, it is advisable to simply capitulate. 
Now, choose that you want to participate in the battle. Right. You are now in the middle of a battle and you can get involved. The data of your convoy is displayed on the left. Oh, here's the data where it's of your kind of opponent based, on the right. Your vessels are shown below. The naval battle will take place in rounds. Each round, all vessels have like a turn. Final once. Fantasy. This also means, for example, that if you have more vessels than your opponent, you will have more turns. When it is your turn, one of your vessels is selected and highlighted in the display. If you have other vessels that have not performed any actions this round, you may select another vessel instead. On your active vessel, the hit points are displayed here. The more sections the bar contains, okay. the more hit points a vessel has. If a vessel loses all hit points, it sinks. In addition, your active vessel will also show how much damage a broadside is likely to cause. The cannons play an important role here, but also the sailors. If the number of sailors falls below half of the maximum possible, the damage is reduced as well. Here, the effective strength of the crew is displayed. It is mainly determined by the sailors on the vessel, but also the type of vessel plays a role. The strength of the crew is important in naval boarding. The greater the superiority of a crew, the greater the probability of success in naval boarding. Each vessel has movement points, depending on the type of vessel. For each movement point, a vessel can move one field in its direction of travel. The maneuvering points of a vessel are also dependent on the type of vessel. A turn of 30 degrees costs one point, so a full turn would require 12 points. However, a vessel may use a maximum of four points per field. Don't worry, before you make a move, be funny the, in the costs tutorial will if it be killed displayed. Me. The fields that your vessel can reach are marked green. Now select one of these fields to move your vessel. You can also move your vessel several times per turn, as long as it still has enough points. Ram them. Up there. As soon as you do not want to or cannot perform any more actions with the current vessel, select End Turn to end the turn for the current vessel. Then your vessel cannot be selected anymore this round. Now it is the turn of Calico Jack. He also selects a vessel of his choice and performs movements and actions with it. What? I can't shoot for the, all my guys? The cross on a vessel indicates that it can no longer perform any action during this round. Now move your next vessel. If you select a red field, your vessel will move into position and fire a broadside at the enemy. A vessel can fire both broadsides per turn. You can mix movement and actions as you like. You can plunge into the battle alone now, but I still have a few important hints for you. Take a look up here at the strength ratio of the two convoys. The bigger the green bar, the higher the chance that you will win. Excellent. If you are sure that you will win the battle, you can have it evaluated automatically. At the moment, I have disabled this feature, but later you can see an evaluation here. You can accept or reject it and return to the battle. Another important point revolves around the tactics that are available to you in battles. First, there are the vessel's tactics. Each vessel provides a tactic to the convoy depending on the type of vessel. This tactic can be used as often as you like, but with cooldown periods oh, in there. between. If more than one vessel has the same tactic, 
This cooldown period is reduced. There are also captain's tactics. You will receive them during your adventures as a reward for tasks you have fulfilled for towns. These tactics are consumed when used, but can be replenished at any time. Simply complete tasks. Which captain's tactics you can use depends on the level of your captain. Some tactics are only for experienced captains. By the way, all tactics are only used on your command, so they do not exist during automatic battles. Go ahead. I'll get right back to you. Your tactic? A shot or something, I guess. At any time when it is your turn, you can specify the type of attack for the selected vessel. Solid shots mainly cause damage to the hull. They're up, Sir Arpo. Thank you for following. Good day. Selecting that. Canister shot reduces especially the crew of the enemy vessel. Oh. Tell us about this it. can be important if you want to board a vessel. Both types of ammunition are always available. You don't have to buy them separately. If you choose this type of attack, the crew will prepare for the naval boarding of another vessel. The greater the strength of your crew compared to the crew of the enemy vessel, the higher the probability that the naval boarding will succeed. This, if a naval boarding maneuver succeeds, both vessels will be suspended until the end of the battle. If the maneuver fails, the attacking vessel will lose one turn. Now go on. I'll get back to you in a minute. One more important tip. Cannons that you don't fire in one turn are wasted, so make sure that a vessel can always fire both broadsides during a turn. I know it's not as easy, since all vessels are limited in their maneuverability. Well, have fun sending Calico Jack to the fishes. I think I'm going to send you to at the, the next lesson. I got a over here. Here we go. Tell you, thank you for following. Good day.
going on? The water's on fire. I want to go through the water. Well, you got to do what you got to do, I guess. I didn't get a turn. Got critically hit. I only get one turn every five turns of that guy, I guess. I guess the fire bolt cannons off there. I set myself up a bit badly there. these tactics do <coughs> I got combat sales I guess That ship's in trouble. Got red there. I guess I gotta do that then. I guess two shots for every one I do. I 
after he's done like dinner. Beverly, thank you for following. Get on! That's it. Who's going after that boat? I got a lot of crew. So I got about one turn left in them, I think. And it's going to be Pirate Fest. Davy Jones style. A pirate party under the sea. Hopefully he doesn't sink that guy. Crap, he's ank him. You're done like dinner, man. It's game over, man. Oh, one more shot and I would have had him. Well, good thing it's tutorial. It didn't cost me it. There we go. Got some rep. Eat that tutorial, eh? We guess, uh, you know, if you're fighting, you can get more shots, There's like get both sides, or and then probably the take Caribbean. care of them. Viceroys, towns, merchants, dodgy characters. They all have wishes, all looking for, all needing, all offering. And there are still some legendary and fabulously well-hidden treasures. You just have to keep your eyes open for such opportunities. If your Viceroy Classy Shoe pinches, he will let you know where by a mark on his symbol. When you visit him, he will tell you all the details. In uh, the Myers Pirates, you, had to, you get to marry the... Governor's daughters too. Once you have the rep, I need you. The best looking you ones would accept or reject the vice. Accept your wishes, marriage because they are just wishes. If you just do what he says, he will notice, and you will be rewarded with a lot of fame. Now close the dialogue again. 
If a town is short of a commodity or otherwise has had some kind of a problem for a long time, the town administration can post a task. Look north from Port Royal to Santiago, where the town offers such an order. Read it and accept it. Gonna go here. Town hall. I got a action menu. I think some of these games are kind of designed around the computer because the writing is so small on, big, on my big TV. Dustin, thank you for liking the stream. Hope your day went well today. And that's a little sign. Yee <laughs> That must mean yes. Yes, yes. Parks all over the city are increasing the satisfaction of residents. Permission by town administration days until completion. Oh, it's being constructed. Okay. Look north of the port at Santiago. For the town office, such an offer. Read it by moving the selection cursor over the town and accept it. Oh, okay. There's task. I'd like to accept the task. If you fulfill a town's task, Sweet. word gets around quickly and your fame increases. You will also learn seafarers' secrets and get to know new captains' tactics. In addition, these orders are often economically worthwhile because they often have to do with urgently needed deliveries of commodities. There are other opportunities in the world that you should not miss. For example, sometimes you can find castaways in the water or commodity stashes on the coast if your convoy is close What's enough. That? We had a beep. I don't seem to notice. It just took like a minute. Oh, there we go. It became a supporter. Thank you so much. We I uh, used to have the steamroller. Steamroller. I should add that sound effect, eh? I don't know if they're that picky about it. Thank you, Dustin. That's much appreciated. Julia, thank you for the follow. A good day to you. All right. Take you know, that's the thing. I made change all my sounds, and, and I didn't know what they were because I thought the coast. we there, wouldn't be allowed to, to use like noise, public noises. And, pick up. <laughs> and then, then I got confused by every sound now. Big convoy. West. On the coast. Message in a bottle in the water for you to find there. Okay. Where's my boat? Is it? They want me to go up here? Oh, it's Havoc Boy. Well, your name's Dustin there. 
I knew it was a havoc party, but I figure you'd push the little down arrow if you wanted to be called a havoc party. <laughs> like the extra work of clicking that down arrow. And they say it's just, it's more personal. Your name. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Ben Convoy. Gotta go with a bottle, I think. I'm so confused on how to play this game. You're laying in bed. Oh. I don't even know on the phone if they have that option, to be honest. I saw there's a new iPhone 12 out now. I think that it wants me to go to the star. And he's kind of telling me, like, take a convoy from San Diego and sail west along the coast. I put a bottle in the water for you to find and pick up. Maybe I just gotta start sailing that way. Oh, my boat's way out there. That's You're gonna go to sleep? Okay. Well, thank you for coming by and thank you for supporting. Much appreciated. Yee yee yee, as you say. This is a nice peaceful game where you had some nice sound effects before you went to bed. Okay, I'm on the coast now. Maybe I just gotta go along. See what happens. Kinda bad at these tutorial things, you know. Hey Howard! How are you? Welcome, milestone follower. Oh maybe this is where I'm going for. Look at that, there's a red. Oh no, that's me. It's a boat. Hope they don't attack me. Port Royale 4, Howard. I'm looking for a bottle on the shore. I suspect is where that star is, but... I was there. We're, we're peacefully sailing along. No pirates here because it's tutorial level. So I did have a cool pirate fight. Sank one of my ships. I sank two of his. Good, thank you. A little bit worn out today. Had a long day at work. But, uh, you know. Nice to sit down and relax and play some video games. It just seems like the bottle I'm going for here. Looks like a giant egg in the water. There we go. We're going to make it, aren't we? I learn how to pick up bottles. Is that how you do it? Probably not. That was just my marker. I'm like, fell in this game like crazy, dudes. 
I think it'd be, you know, once you understand it, I think it'd be really quite interesting. It just looks like it's got a little bit of a slow learning curve at the beginning here. Either that or I'm just slow, but... Take the convoy from Santiago. And sail west along the coast. There... I have put a bottle, message in a bottle in the water for you to find and pick up. I don't know. I'm assuming west is that way, but maybe it's not. Is there a thing that says north or something? This is like North America and South America. That's Florida. Maybe not. That's Florida right there, right? Hmm. You know, that's probably part of the directions problem here. I don't know which way west is. And I was assuming west was like that way, but I don't know if you can really tell. And those towns rotate. Do you have any guesses, Howard? How do you tell where which way is west? Am I supposed to go? I kind of went to the tip here. We'll go over here. It seems that star would be where I'd want to go, but... No compass, no idea is the thing. I'm so new at it. You know, I just got the... T I'm just doing the tutorial. Sometimes these games are like... Kind of converted, I think, from the computer originally. They're probably a little more obvious on the computer because the writing, you know, I can't really read the writing from here very well, but let's see a compass. Or a bottle. It's in there, eh? Oh, we get to like, uh, give our sailors a, a little three hour tour. Three hours. Just look which direction Barcelona is from Santiago. We're having a boat race with this dude here. He's going to win the boat race. Did you ever look up how much that uh, little big workshop is? I think there might be a command, you know, actually for some of that stuff. Ah, 
maybe not. I don't know. There's exclamation commands. Have a look. Hopefully that'll tell you how much this game is now. Did it do anything? There it is. Playing. I guess you just find out what the game is called. Yeah, I don't think that was West, obviously. There's a whale or something. Maybe you gotta zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, let's go along the coast now that we can zoom right in. Look at that view, eh? I hear the dogs from here. 114 days, eh? Cats. Alright, have a good night, Howard. That was a break, I'm assuming, for work. Get back there, get back to doing your job. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Oh, I can hear the dogs way out on the water here. Bertha. Go oh, Bertha. Look how close we can get. Seems like that's west of the town, and this star is what I should be going after. I'll tell ya. Oh, in search. Hmm. Not that common, I guess. It says it's in the water for you. Maybe I should be looking closer, eh?
a jerk, eh? You could have just gave me the bottle. That thing, maybe that's the bottle. This little pool. Oh, here we go. There's something. I guess that was West. That was part more painful than it needed to be. Look, a part of a treasure map. There'll probably be more of these, and there are many ways to get to it. By the way, such pieces are always transferred to your journal. Now Excellent. open the journal, and there the treasure maps tab. Further parts of the treasure map are stored here. As soon as you have found the middle piece, you can go on a treasure hunt. A successful treasure Excellent. hunt will greatly increase your fame in the Caribbean. And while we are in the journal, open the tab objectives. Your nation expects a lot from you. What exactly you can read here. But you are free and independent. If you can do without the fame of your country, then these objectives are nothing more than recommendations. So much for missions, wishes, So you can kind of do whatever angle you fame. want, I guess. They will help you to build a villa by the sea. My school thanks you, as always, for your interest and hopes for a positive evaluation. Grab a bottle of rum on your way out. Naval battle training. All right, let's check out naval battle training. And there's like a thousand tutorials in this game. Thousands, man. Got to be an expert on piratism. Welcome to naval battle training. This is only an exercise. Whoever is sinking here does not end up as fish food and can try again any time. Look at all the boats now, eh? So, three on three this time. If I go here, he really turns. Shooting from there. All right, let's shoot that guy. And with the other side of the boat, that guy. I want to board them because that'd be kind of cool. I put fire in the water. We'll shoot there. Shoot again, that guy.
gotta focus on this boat. Maybe I can use a maneuver up there. I don't know what, what the good ones are. That sounds good though. Oh, I don't have any of those. Country info, tactic info, pushing. Okay. Repair. Oh, you can repair. Do that. See, they seem to be smarter than me, and they always get two shots off. I only ever get one shot off. Can I shoot this guy? They always kind of put themselves in pretty good spots, eh? Maybe I should run my repair again, eh? That boat. Gonna fix right up. I can't shoot this guy. Crap, they're repairing too. Oh, you nailed them. What's up, Fitz? They got some crits too. I can get this guy and that guy. I think these guys are boarding each other. That's why there's... They're locked. Oh, 
Uh oh, I lost my vote. Jay, thank you for liking the stream. My battle's not going so hot here. It looks like I'm in trouble. Fire. We can nail this guy down. Critical damage there. Additional maneuver points. That sounds like something. That I can't do anything with it. On the fire, dude. Oh, not me in the fire. Man, I shouldn't use those repairs, I guess. This one. Well, that boat's done. Get them from here. Russell, thank you for following. Good day to you. Here. Boy, this boat's locked up. here Please, he won't be able to shoot me I think you're gonna lose oh just barely got him Well, thanks to my navy here, they're all in rough shape. I guess pirate. That'll go that way sometimes. Right down to the wire. One more shot, they would have killed me, eh? Oh, achievement! Seafarer. Man, that's tutorials. That took a while. It was like a couple hours just for that. Now we know how to play it though, sorta. Sorta, kinda. And that's good enough for, for me for tonight though. Seems like an exciting part to end on. A close battle. And... You know, we'll have to give her a go again sometime here. Um... If you haven't followed yet please do so be appreciated if uh even if you're watching the video afterwards a like and a share still helps a lot as well as follows and of course if you look in the video description there's a link to my youtube um and that will uh show you like i'll make a clip probably one of those sea battles later and you can see the other clips i've made the different games kind of thing so let's see here 
I type out exclamation YouTube for you guys. There you go. And um, there's also links to the Instagram, the Twitter, the other other stuff. Uh, Discord, you know, if you want to join the Discord, I often will respond to things in there. Um, and I also put clips to the different videos and, you know, whatever else is kind of interesting at the time. But, uh, thank you for being here, whatever capacity you're here. And I hope you have yourselves a good night. I will host somebody and, uh, we'll hopefully see you again tomorrow, Assassin's Creed tomorrow. So, uh, we'll, uh, hopefully see you there for that. At least to stop in and say hi if you like. Thank you again. Look at the camera, eh? Thank you so much.